Hey everyone, and welcome back. This is Omni-Man 86, and today we're doing a little bit of arts and crafts. Uh, we are going to be working on the bindings of these two Omnis, uh, so come back and I'm going to kind of show you what's going on. So I have uh, two Omnis here that need varying degrees of work done on their binding. Uh, we're going to take a look at both of those here in just a minute. Um, but first, I'm going to kind of talk about what you need to make this happen. And honestly, it's a very short list. You can kind of see everything's right here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is some uh, PVA glue. Uh, you can see it's kind of talked about uh, right here. This is made specifically for paper, book binding. It even calls out on here. Uh, so it is um, a type of glue that you want to use for this. Not just any type of glue it will work. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. This was, I think, actually one of the larger bottles. Um, there's, this isn't the smallest you can get. Um, and it was like 10 bucks. So super cheap, especially if you've got a couple of you need to do. Um, it's nice to just have this on hand for whenever uh, you need that. And then we also have just a paintbrush. Uh, this is a half inch size here. Uh, you can also use like a size 10, uh, depending on what you have. Uh, but this is uh, going to work perfectly fine for what we need it for. So let's uh, move this out of the way. And we're going to take a look at these two Omnis. So I have the Punisher Max by Garth Ennis Volume 2. Uh, you can see the spine here actually it says Max Omnibus instead of Marvel Omnibus. This may end up with a custom dust jacket one day if that drives me nuts and I notice it. Uh, but I picked this up super cheap uh, online from someone. I paid 40 bucks for this out of print Omni. Um, you know, the dust jacket's got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of wear and tear, nothing crazy, no rips or anything like that. Um, uh, but the only thing it does have going on is just a little bit of binding stuff. So let me go ahead and pull off the dust jacket here. You can actually see what this looks like underneath as well. And when I open this up, you can see that I got some separation right here, just a little bit right there in the middle, uh, where the pages are coming apart. This is kind of typical of what it's going to look like, and you'll see it even worse here in just a minute. Uh, on the other one. But when I flip it around and we look at the bottom, it's actually okay. Um, and with a nice little eye there. Um, and so you just want to check it in a couple of different places. But you can see nice and attached there at the bottom. So really it's just the top that we have to worry about on this one. So uh, that's that one. And then we have uh, my first uh, printing or the original printing of Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, this was actually one of my very first Omnis. Uh, I was really interested in what was going on with Miles Morales and where his character came from. And so uh, so I got this one. Let's take a look at that really cool wraparound uh, cover. But when you look at this one, you can see, man, oh man, the entire thing has come separated here. This specific book has uh, notorious issues with this. I don't know if it was the glue that was in the factory that day or what it was, but you can see all of the pages have separated. The only thing keeping this intact is the fact that it's, you know, glued over here on the side uh, and attached there. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of different things here. All right, so let's start with Miles Morales here. This is probably... Uh, the, honestly, the easier of the two to do, um, although it's going to take a little bit more time. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of lay this down, and we're going to open up this bad boy here. And you want to try and get it where it is about, uh, you know, try and even there. And Excuse my dog back there. Um, but you just want it nice and open up so that way you can get in there uh, with your paintbrush. And just so you can kind of see, obviously I haven't started painting yet, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get some glue on it and we are just going to go uh, down in there. So just kind of give you an idea of what we've got going on. So once we've got it doing that, oh, there is one other thing you're going to need, uh, and that is the paper towels. You're going to want to be able to wipe away any kind of extra glue. You don't want glue on the tops of these pages here because uh, you don't want these pages to stick together when you go back to read it. So you're going to want some paper towels to be able to do that. If you find that this uh, half inch is too big, uh, you can use something like a number 10. I've got one here just in case I want to use that one. Um, I want to try and get as much glue as I can in there. Actually, this number 10 might work a little bit better. I'm going to try and maybe use this one. Um, so let's take a look and see what we can make happen with this. All right, after you've given your bottle of glue a good shake, uh, we're going to take our brush and let's see what we can make happen here. I'm just going to kind of dip it in there, get uh, some 
we'll start with with about that much and then we're just going to go inside and uh do some painting and you want to try and get it pretty far down in there about halfway if you can because we're going to come at it from the other side and you're going to need a you know a decent amount to do this you know you'll have to kind of go back a couple of different times just to make sure you've got enough in there because uh, you really want to make sure that this sticks once you're done so you probably can't see what i'm doing so i'm just going in and i'm just kind of painting the inside i'm getting on the pages and getting it on the inside of the spine and we're just going to do this a bunch until we feel like we've got uh a good amount so let's uh see if we can't speed this up a little bit here Once you are happy with the amount of glue you've got in there, um, then we're gonna we're gonna kind of close it up. One thing I'll mention is that when you look in here, you're gonna see these little grooves inside of there. You want to make sure the glue gets all in those grooves because um, that's what's gonna help kind of hold those pages in place. So once you're happy with everything, we are just gonna take this and we are just gonna close it up. You're gonna see some glue seep out. That's okay. We're gonna wipe that away. Um, see some there. See just a little bit down here. I didn't think it, <laughs> I might have gotten a little too much here. Um, so we're just gonna take our paper towel and we're gonna wipe this away. I'm gonna get it all over my table, but that's fine. I'll clean that up later. And you're just gonna get it so it's not touching the pages here. And uh, so you just wanna make sure you give this a good wipe. You also wanna make sure you don't get it in between uh, the the outer sh shell um and the and the sewing there because you don't want that to be glued down you to make sure you get a nice eye um so you can kind of give it a little push there just to make sure it's nice and sealed up because we're gonna want that to be nice and closed up whenever it finishes and then we're gonna flip it around to the other side see if we've got any down here yeah got just a little bit and uh, we're just gonna get that off of there. I go a little bit is good. That's fine uh, because it's gonna dry um, and it'll be be all right. Um, but let's see. Still got a little residue down on this side. I'm gonna actually kind of take my finger and get in between there to make sure there's nothing happening in there. I don't want to make sure I kind of keep it off of the sewing there. Um, but we're just gonna do that. And once we've gotten most of that off, then we'll set it to the side. Whenever you take it um, and you let it dry, we're gonna let it dry for at least a day. Um, so before we come back and check this, we wanna make sure we've got it about a day uh, to do that. And you'll wanna put it on your bookshelf, just like this right here. Kind of put um, Omnis on either side of it and you just wanna make sure that it's nice and straight. It's not gonna move or flex or anything while the drew, while the drew, good lord, while the glue is drying, um, because you want to make sure that uh, it is able to dry nice um, and evenly before you start to move it around or anything. Man, I got a ton of glue. So this is what can happen if you get too much glue, uh, especially out towards uh, the ends. Then you're gonna spend a little bit of time kind of cleaning it up. Um, wiping away some of that glue because, like I said, you don't want a bunch of glue build up. If it does happen, it's not the end of the world. You can use something to kind of break it away um, to kind of cut it back, um, so that way it's not a problem. But we just we don't want to have to deal with that later. So we just want to make sure that any of this extra glue uh, through here is is gone. And then we're gonna open this up just to make sure we don't get any in the corners here. Um, luckily, this is. You know, like the bottle says, it's a flexible glue, so you don't have to worry about like getting too crunchy or anything. But like this end ended up really well. This end is, I think, going to be in a good place as well. Uh, I just had a little bit left there to take care of, and uh, this I think that's going to be it for this one. So for Punisher here, we've got something a little bit different going on. You can see that down here on the bottom, we have a really nice eye. Um, the glue is nice and good right there. It's not a problem, so uh, this is what you want. You want to be able to see this part attached to all the pages, which we've got right here, and that looks pretty good. But what we do have going on is when we flip this bad boy around and look at the top, we do have some separation 
here. This is what's giving us some trouble here. So there's a couple of different ways you could handle this. Um, one, you could, you know, try to like pull some of this away or cut some of it away from the pages if you really want to use a paintbrush. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try something. I've not had to do this before because um, I've not had one that's just been like that, but I do want to go ahead and fix that while I'm working on some of these other ones is I'm actually gonna take this bottle and you can see it comes with like a little nozzle here. So I'm just gonna take this cap off and we're just gonna squirt a little glue down in there um, and we'll kind of open it and close it a few times and see if we can't get that uh, working nice for us. One of the things I do wanna be careful about is I don't wanna just shoot a ton of glue down in there because what you don't want to happen is you don't want glue to start coming up in between these pages. Um, we wanna make sure that it doesn't do that. So whenever you're doing this, you probably wanna make sure that you kind of open this up so that way you've kind of cut down on as many of those cracks as possible. Um, like I said, this one isn't terrible, but I wanna keep this from getting any worse. So let's try that out. So when you go to do this, you might need like a flashlight or something, just so you can kind of look and see how far down it goes. Uh, luckily with this one, it doesn't, you know, go all the way through. You can't see daylight down at the other end or anything. So it's not actually going uh, too far. So again, we don't want to put like a ton of glue in here, but we do want to put enough. Might see a little bit of daylight down through there, um, or maybe that's a reflection. So, but yeah, it's not, it's not bad, uh, so we should be okay. So we're just going to take this and we're going to just give ourselves a little glue in there and we can kind of open and close it a few times to get it moving around. We can see some of that glue kind of starting to seep a little bit, but that's all right because we're going to wipe it out and let's do a little bit more and we can even kind of tilt it up a little bit so that way it uh, it goes down there. So we wanna make sure it kind of goes down into those cracks we were talking about earlier. Go ahead and wipe away some of this while we can. Let's go ahead and close it up again. Yeah, this one, it may not end up quite perfect, but like I said, you really just wanna make sure that these pages are gonna be in a good place. You know, this one's not terrible. Like this one, you could probably read and it not be the, the end of the world because it is being held on in there at the end. Unlike the Spider-Man that was completely detached, not something you want to take care of just so it doesn't completely destroy, uh, you know, the book itself. And luckily that the Spider-Man, if you've seen the other video where I talk about that book, um, it has been reprinted under a different title and uh, that book did not have the glue issues, the binding issues that that one did. So um, you should only have to deal with that if you have that printing. I know there are some other books out there that have had some notorious um, binding issues. Um, so you may find some other ones out there that you have to have that with. And like I said, I don't know if it's just the type of glue that happened to be in the factory at the time, um, you know, with what they had going on. So who knows, but that's fine because we are gonna take care of it ourselves. I just wanna make sure, especially here at the top, I just kind of get glue everywhere as I bump the camera. I feel like I'm like doing a Bob Ross video. Just put a little happy glue in there and we're gonna wipe that away. And let's close that up. See a little bit of glue there. So I think I'm pretty happy with the amount of glue that's in there. I wanna give it some time. Worst case scenario, if it's not completely perfect, I can always do it again um, to get it going. But I think that's probably gonna be pretty good for this one. So let's go put these on the shelf, let them sit for a day, and we'll come back and check them out. All right, it has been 24 hours, actually a little bit over 24 hours, and uh, we've got these things back down here. So let's take a look and see how we did. Let's uh, check out this Punisher here first. So we wanna check out up here at the top and see what we've got going on. Move over there, Spidey. Um, let's put this down here and see what happens. Oh, look at there. Looks like we've got some success right here. We've got a, an eye forming, uh, nothing coming apart right there. So that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look. Yeah, things are looking good there. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, that's not glue, that's just from, I guess it's probably from the inside of the binding, but yeah, 
that worked out very nice. All right, so Punisher, you're all good. Now let's check out Spidey here. So this is the one that had the most damage and needed some help. So let's take this bad boy and see what we get. So let's go ahead and open this up. And would you look at that? We've got a nice eye forming here. Nothing coming apart. It's nice and even all the way across. Let's take a... You can see there all the pages are glued in. Let's take a look at this side. Same thing. Got a nice eye opening there. Got maybe... No, I think that's good. Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit of, of glue residue here, but not much. Let's flip through here and we're going to open these pages up just to make sure they're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Things are in good shape. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. Uh, big success on both these books. So if you ever are in the need to uh, be able to fix your Omnis, you can see it's super easy. This was my first time doing this, and, uh, and honestly, I couldn't really be happier with how they came out. So good as new on these. Uh, so hopefully I won't have to do it again, but if I do, then, uh, then I'll be ready to go with the glue here. So uh, take it easy, and we'll catch you back next time.